Hello YouTube, this is Bruno. I rarely do snapshot videos, but Mojang gave a massive boost to witch farms, making sure that every witch drops at least 4 redstone. So I just needed to know. Are witch farms now useful again, or even a new meta? In two words, yes, absolutely. I just built this little witch farm here, and I'm seeing over 7000 redstone dust per hour, with a mob cap nearly empty. Now with a big nerf to raid farms, we technical players of course needed a new source for redstone, and apparently this is how Mojang is going to do it. And I'm quite happy. Witch farms were all but useless in the last versions of the game, so now our witch farms will produce the redstone and cause a lot less lag, and be much easier to build than stacking raid farms. This is already a good deal more than popular stacking raid farms like Enix or Force. If you find, say, a triple witch hut, then you'll get over 20,000 redstone per hour. I love it. Mojang, please don't change anything about that. Let's have a look at the setup. And this is a fairly simple farm. Most of you will be able to build it from just looking at this video here or at the world download. It's my own farm with a lot of inspiration from the old Mango shifting floor farms. And I use a very simple shifting floor design here. Witches will spawn on the inside. And I shift the floors every five seconds or so. So this is a 5 second clock, and here on the side is a little delay circuit, so I shift the top floor first, and then the second floor, and then the third floor, so that all witches spawning will fall through. And at the bottom is just a water stream going to a rail, and I have a tripwire hook that will activate whenever witches are waiting to be picked up here. And if the tripwire hook is powered, I'll enable this clock, which sends minecarts that pick up the witches. So as long as we have witches waiting here, we'll send the minecarts. And these minecarts go into a bubble elevator. And here at the top they go through a scaffolding and an activator rail makes sure they will be dropped off here at this hopper. And of course our player stands here, hits an armor stand with a sweeping edge sword that also has mending, looting and sharpness. The setup with the minecart going through a scaffolding was described by Logical Geek Boy a while ago. Which is really nice, because it allows you to just send the mobs in the minecarts up there. The empty minecarts will just drop down, so they drop onto this rail and will be broken by this cauldron and end up once again in the dispenser dispensing the minecarts. A beacon makes sure that the player doesn't die with regeneration, and while we're at it, I also gave strength too. And the mob cap is really empty. We have on average maybe five mobs around. So you can easily extend this to do a triple or quad witch hut and get higher rates. So let's compare the rates. This is the very same farm in 120.4 and it doesn't even give 600 redstone. So we have an increase of a factor of 10. So of course this farm was massively underpowered compared to a stacking rate farm. In the latest snapshot we are at 12k items per hour. So we do need a double speed hopper setup to pick up all of the items and it seems that the rates for the other items were buffed a bit as well. The tracking statistics say that we get about 950 witches an hour, or a bit over 7 redstone per witch on average. Now I don't think the rates can be improved a lot, because the limiting factor for this farm is the number of spawning spaces. So witches will only spawn inside of the witch hut, and we can't extend the size of the witch hut. So the only things we can do is make sure on the one hand that no witches despawn, and here the magic number is 30 seconds, because after 30 seconds the witches can despawn. But you can see that we get these witches almost immediately into the minecarts, and once they are in the minecart, they can no longer despawn. We are good there. And the other thing we can do is make sure that we don't block any spawning spaces here. But here everything is spawnable except for the moment the blocks are moved via the pistons, which is just a couple of ticks. The kill chamber is a bit to the side and not over the hut, so we don't mess up the height map. And I did add this pack spawning optimization with the glass here. It seems to have a small effect, like maybe 5%, but not more. So I don't think we can do a lot more to improve the rates. But this gives us a pretty robust number. One witch hut gives 7000 redstone, a double set hut setup gives 14000, a triple gives 20000. Nice! And the best thing about the farm is that it's not complicated to build. So this is the spawning sphere. And you see that we go just a few blocks down under swamp level. And so basically the only parts that we have to spawn proof is this area here inside the spawning sphere. 
And there everything is lit up. I use mini hut to show that. You might want to spam torches to make sure everything has light level 8 or higher. Because this way we block slime spawns. So just light up maybe 30 blocks in all directions from the center of the witch hut. And as long as you have no mountains nearby, which could extend into the spawning sphere, this should be done in maybe 3 minutes. Here's the material list. Now here I use tinted glass so that you can see what's going on on the inside. Wherever I use tinted glass you can just use normal building blocks. Of course you have to make sure that nothing spawns here on top if you don't use glass. Also here I use glass and in pretty much all of the cases you can also replace the normal glass with any building blocks. Even with cobblestone if you like. So this farm is really not that expensive. All it needs is a few observers, a few rails, a few minecarts and a few pistons. You don't need dirt and grass blocks because they are just from the surroundings. The glass and the tinted glass can be replaced with any building block of your choice. So you can pause the video if you like. This is the rest. Not a lot of materials. A quite fast build. I haven't included a storage, but all of the items drop into this water stream here. So you can connect any storage of your choice. So that's it for a quick look. Players will be building witch farms in 121. Now please let me know in the comments if you want a build tutorial for this farm or if you have any questions. Also please leave a like and subscribe, it really helps the channel. Thanks for watching and see you next time, bye bye!